Honeybees are one of the most important insects on the planet. They play an essential role in our food supply by pollinating many of our fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Honeybees also produce honey, a delicious and nutritious food humans have enjoyed for centuries. Honeybees play a vital role in our food supply by pollinating numerous fruits, vegetables, and nuts that we eat. A honeybee collects pollen on its legs when it visits a flower. This pollen is then transferred to other flowers as the bee visits them. This process of pollination is essential for plant reproduction. Without honeybees, many of the foods that we rely on would not exist. For example, honeybees pollinate about 70% of the crops grown in the United States. This includes fruits such as apples, blueberries, cherries, strawberries, and vegetables such as broccoli, cucumbers, and melons. In addition to their role in pollination, honeybees also produce honey, a delicious and nutritious food. Honey is made from nectar, a sweet liquid bees collect from flowers. Honey is a good source of antioxidants and other nutrients. It can be eaten on its own, used as a sweetener, or added to foods and drinks. A honeybee colony can have up to 50,000 bees. The bees live in a hive, which is made up of hexagonal cells made of wax. The cells are used to store honey, pollen, and eggs. Honeybees play two crucial roles, pollination and honey production. Pollination is the process of transferring pollen from one flower to another. This is necessary for plant reproduction. A honeybee collects pollen on its legs when it visits a flower. This pollen is then transferred to other flowers as the bee visits them. Honeybees are very efficient pollinators. They can visit hundreds of flowers in a single day. This helps to ensure that plants are pollinated and can produce fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Honey is a sweet liquid that honeybees produce from nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid that bees collect from flowers. Honeybees store nectar in their honey stomachs and then return to the hive to regurgitate it into the honeycombs. The worker bees then fan the honey with their wings to evaporate the water. This process produces honey, which is a thick, syrupy liquid. Honey is stored in the honeycombs and eaten by the bees for food. A honeybee colony is a complex and organized society. It is made up of three different types of bees, the queen, the worker bees, and the drone bees. The queen bee is the only bee in the colony that can lay eggs. She lives for about two to five years and can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day. The queen bee is fed a special diet called royal jelly, which helps her to live longer and lay more eggs. The worker bees are all female. They do all of the work in the colony, including gathering food, caring for the young, and building and maintaining the hive. Worker bees live for about six weeks. The drone bees are male. Their only job is to mate with the queen bee. Once they have mated, they die. Honeybees communicate with each other using a variety of methods, including pheromones, dances, and sounds. Pheromones are chemicals that bees produce to communicate with each other. For example, the queen bee produces a pheromone that helps to keep the colony together. Bees use dances to communicate information about food sources and other essential things. For example, a bee might do a waggle dance to tell other bees where to find a good food source. Bees also use sounds to communicate. For example, bees will buzz to warn other bees of danger. Honeybees face many threats, including habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change. Habitat loss is a significant threat to honeybees. Bees need flowers to collect nectar and pollen from. As more and more land is developed for agriculture and urbanization, there are fewer and fewer places for bees to live. Pesticides are another threat to honeybees. Pesticides can kill bees directly or weaken them and make them more susceptible to disease. Climate change is also a threat to honeybees. Climate change leads to extreme weather events such as droughts and floods. These events can damage beehives and make it difficult for bees to find food. There are several things that we can do to help honeybees thrive. Plant bee-friendly flowers. Bees need flowers to collect nectar and pollen from. Plant bee-friendly flowers in your garden or yard to provide them with a food source. Avoid using pesticides. Pesticides can kill bees and weaken them. If you must use pesticides, choose pesticides that are bee-safe. Support beekeepers. Beekeepers help to manage and protect honeybee colonies. You can support beekeepers by buying honey from them or donating to beekeeping organizations. By taking these steps, we can help protect honeybees and ensure they continue playing their vital role in our food supply and environment. 
If you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe.